right, what's going on everyone? We're back with another video, and today we're talking about being a content creator and what it takes to be great at this. So, in case you didn't know, I've been doing this for around two years, but recently I've, I've almost wanted to take it a little bit more seriously. So, I'm here with my friend Sky today. Hey, thanks for having me, Freddie. Appreciate it, bro. And we're gonna talk about that one thing that I think that's gonna help you, me, and all of us that are trying to do this be just that much better. But before we do that, we gotta help film Sky's short form piece. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Just <laughs> real. Speak from the heart. What's up, guys? My name is Sky Kim. You may know me for posting some decent drone videos in Chicago, but today, I'm about to share your story of how I got here. I think the biggest game changer when it comes to speaking in front of the camera is to just address it like any of your other friends. Because I feel like so many times when we talk to it, it seems that we have to amplify ourselves or become someone completely different. But I feel like in reality, if you talk to the camera like it is your friend, and therefore don't even really think about it, just say what you really want to say, the end result is actually going to be better than if you just deliberated for 20, 30 minutes, did like 10,000 takes trying to get the exact wording correct. Listen, if you've never had Potbelly before, I'm telling you, you are missing out. All right, hot tech, Potbelly, better than Jersey Mike's. <laughs> Boom. Mm. Mm -mm. So good. Man, Freddie's putting on the spot here. Um, what's up, guys? My name is Guy Ken, filmmaker in Chicago. Today, we're just doing like a, a quick shoot downtown the city, Merchandise Mart. So we're at a Park Bellies, and man, this thing smacks. So good. Ooh, all right, so we're about to go to this Whole Foods parking lot, which Sky proclaims might be the best one in the city, and it's around 4.30 right now. We're gonna see if we can catch the, the sunset real quick. We got the Willis Tower in the back. It's gonna be a good one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. It'll be a good burn, a good burn. And it's just an awesome feeling to find somewhere dope that not many people know about yet. Agreed, my man. Look who's arrived. Mr. Sony A7 original, Blake original. Sandy himself. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Not a natural whatsoever. Hey, what's up, Freddy? What's going on, brother? Okay, good. That's fine. Look at that, look at that shot. The freaking, I mean, yeah. Oh. Drew in his absolute element. Yes, sir. <laughs> y'all been waiting for for us to finally go outside and talk about that one thing the line right between these light posts there you go baby geometry Bo boom oh my <laughs> god you have to send me the actual photo i will don't worry all right i think i, I think i i think i got this the biggest thing that has helped me as a creator is not mastering the editing software it's not improving my shot selection. I mean, all of these things you should do. But there's one thing that's helped me more than anything as a creator, and I'm gonna tell you what it's not. It's not doing this all by myself. I mean, this is beautiful. I'm here by myself, but I feel like the people that are gonna help you to love this craft, to push that passion, and of course, be able to inspire you and keep you disciplined, that's gonna be what makes you fall in love with being a creator. And I feel like for me, building community is everything. And here in Chicago, I feel like the scene hasn't you know, blown up just yet, but with the amount of amazing creators that are here, and I feel like with the initiative I'm taking, we can build this. So I've been fortunate enough to create some very meaningful friendships of mine, and they're gonna talk to you about why building community is gonna help you as a creator level up immensely. Hey, come on in. So guys, why do you think community has helped you as a creator, or how? If you think about what you're creating and why you're creating, you're definitely creating for yourself, but there's a community that inspires you and there's a community that your work will inspire. So play your part and find that community. And honestly for me, being part of the community, like it's the accountability factor. Like there are times where you just don't want to do anything. You just, you're not motivated, you're not inspired. But when you have a community behind your back, they'll push you through, they'll take you to the next level. 
And dude, it's awesome. There are times where I'm down, but I have my boy Freddie here putting me up, pumping me up, and we're out here filming in the damn cold. But you know, that's what it's all about, man. <laughs> <laughs> we're, like, we're out here. Yeah, I couldn't agree more with what these guys are saying. I think just being part of a community definitely, it pushes you to be better. And uh, I take a lot of inspiration from seeing what you guys create and what other creators make. So definitely just put yourself yeah, out there and up. find a community for yourself. And it's a, it's a lot of fun to be part of something. That was deep. <laughs> <laughs> that was deep. I'm telling you, it's like 19 degrees out here, but the love for this game, the fact that we're on this random shopping mall roof. It's dope, though. Like 6 p.m. with it's this cotton foods. It's a Whole Foods <laughs> with the cotton candy sunset behind us. There's nothing better than this. But for the person that wants to make community, what would you tell them? Don't take a chance to go and explore. Leave the house, regardless of how cold it is. It can be 19 degrees. That's okay. Leave the house and don't come back until you're inspired or you create something. And that's the first step that will turn into the second and the third and so on. Boomer advice. And honestly, it just takes that one friend that you can reach out that really can change, the, you know, everything. For me, it was the same thing. I reached out one friend and boom, got to meet like tons of more creators after that. Oh! <laughs> you good? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Anyways. <laughs> you know? Let's check it out. Okay. That's well, cosmetic. Cosme cosmetic yeah, scratch. We're good. Oh yeah, yeah. Wait, what are you? What are you guys saying? <laughs> I totally lost my train. Or, uh, uh, you know yeah. what? Uh, well, get a better tripod. So <laughs> not like the one I got. But anyways, um, oh yeah, it takes that. Just reach out to that one friend. It literally can change everything. I mean, that one friend can like uh, uh, open doors for you. Like reach out to a bigger community, bigger than yourself, and it really pushes you. You know, have that uncount. Have that friend who could be accountable with. So. Oh shit. You know. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of it for me, man. Yeah, I think accountability is a big thing for sure because it's it's pretty easy when you're when you're only doing it for yourself and you're just creating just it's just kind of I don't know what I'm trying to say it's like you get into like these bad habits but having that accountability from other artists like you see they're creating you're like okay that's it's motivating it's inspiring so yeah just keep you inspired keeps you motivated. There we go. It's so inspiring and you know what if you don't have it where you are. And for some odd reason, you want to move, come join us in Chicago because we're building something absolutely amazing here, the Chicago creative community. And uh, be on the lookout. April, we got a little something cooking up. But these are my guys. This is the one thing that's going to help you level up more than anything. Build yourself a community of like-minded individuals with big goals and big aspirations that are going to keep you accountable to create the best shit that you possibly can. That's it for this video. I guess we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's in April.